everybody here's a weighing or balancing your pistons video ideally you want to oh, look at that got to tar it out ideally you want to do this without the rings but whatever shouldn't matter either way because the rings should all weigh the same you're going to vary it a little bit after filing but either way they should weigh real close to the same like within points of each other zero point something um, so the idea of this is you want to get all four of your pistons theoretically plus or minus a gram of each other one gram you're fine now if you're OCD you're going to want to get them all exactly the same. But you'll start out by weighing each piston without rings and with or without the wrist pin. That don't really matter because all the wrist, wrist pins I've weighed, they all weigh the exactly the same within points of each other. So as, well. as we can see, this piston weighs 399.7 grams with the wrist pin with all the rings now like I said without rings ideally with or without wrist pin that's up to you but after you find your lightest one you're gonna want to match all the rest of your pistons to your lightest one and you can take a little bit off on the sides you want to kind of keep it balanced you know if you take some off of this side you want to take some off of this side but what a lot of people do is they'll drill micro drill or file or scrape and or and or grind a little bit off of inside of here if you're right dead in the center it's not going to throw your weight off really you know either way either this way which is going to be kind of held by the rod and the wrist pin or this way which is what your bottom of the skirt's going to feel if you get, <clears throat> if you get it too light on one side it's going to want to kind of push a little bit but nothing huge and like I said, the spec is within a gram. And you can be fine with that, or you can be super picky and get them all four to weigh exactly the same. The What this is doing is essentially kind of balancing your rotating assembly, your moving mass. So when this piston goes up, and this one goes down it lessens vibrations and from my experience the uh, Hondas are factory balanced I've taken a Honda crank to the machine shop had them balance it they charged me 50 bucks and said here you go took it to another machine shop later on same crank and a different crank he threw it on the machine and he's like this is already balanced I don't know why you're even having me do this like both cranks the one I had previously balanced and my OE crank and he's like all the Honda and pretty much all the four cylinder cranks that he's ever seen have already been balanced from the factory and I don't know I could get in a whole discussion about you know balancing the rotating assembly yes it's a good idea but uh, things are pretty much already balanced from the factory you get a lightened flywheel they're not going to send you that flywheel out heavy on one side you know out of balance like that's bad for business and uh, you know these ATI dampeners yeah I'm sure if you're going high horsepower it's a real good idea but I, you know, I can't say one way or the, the other if it's actually necessary. But, anyways, back to the subject at hand. 
doing this to your pistons is part of balancing and then if you write down all your numbers you know what your each piston weighs one two three four what each wrist pin weighs what your first ring second ring you know just write it all down that's blueprinting it you write down your weights your clearances you know the size of your uh, rod journals and then the size of the uh, gap you have for the oil you know just writing it all down all everything that you do that's blueprinting like some people seem to make this big huge complicated deal out of balancing and blueprinting it's really not it's just a matter of weighing everything measuring everything and writing it down and uh Maybe I'll make y'all a rods video. I don't have any rods here now. Um, but it's kind of the same thing. You can weigh your rod as a whole just to know what the whole thing weighs. And then you can get a little jig or make you a little jig or whatever. You want the rod kind of perfectly level with your scale. set one end on of the rod on your scale and it should tell you a weight you know your big end to your small and flip it around do the same thing to the other side what you don't want is to have your rod leaning up or leaning down into it you want it pretty much completely level as you can get it and that's weighing the rods. You weigh your big end, you weigh your small end. Same thing, micro drill it, file it, kind of grind on it a little bit and get them to match. You want all four of your small ends to be within a gram and you want all four of your big ends to be within a gram. And uh, yeah, that's Pretty much balancing the rods and pistons.